Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. This is a part of a series where I test out different applications and talk about whether or not they can be used as your all-in-one productivity app and this time it is ClickUp and ClickUp is a project management tool that a lot of the people use as their personal like everything application but it is mainly a project management tool for teams. In today's video we are going to dive into some of the different features, how the application works and uh, talk about whether or not this can be used as your all-in-one productivity app. And let's just start off with how this application works. So you have a space, I have my, this is actually my company space because I tried out, uh, I tried out ClickUp as my uh, project management tool for a while but here you have like different spaces so I have one called design one called admin one called social media let's just create one called YouTube test YouTube YouTube test and we have it right here and I can choose to make it private and I can also give it a description but I won't do that I will just continue and here I can define my workflow so uh, I can do a starter, a marketing teams, project management, product plus engineering. As you can see, this is more tailored towards um, more tailored towards teams, but I will just uh, start with the starter plan. So the default views here is lists and boards. Ta uh, task status is to do in progress complete. And I have some click apps here as well. If I just change this, you can see that changes here as well so in my case if I were to do like social media management I would go for the marketing teams because I would get backlog planning in progress ready for review uh, list board uh, and calendar view the calendar view in my case is very important for social media management uh, the task statuses are different so if I just check out product and engineering you can see that things change here as well project management things again change but we will go ahead and just use the starter one because for personal use I think that is the one most people will start off with so let's create the space and here you can see my space and uh, I have like a list here I have sort of an overview and dashboard view right here I can see bookmarks I can see my docs my reasons my folders and my lists so if I just press plus here you can see that I can add a doc form whiteboard or even a folder into here so let's say you had different projects you could create one folder for each one of those projects they also have a template gallery which is great because ClickUp just like many of these all-in-one uh, applications can quite quickly become a really hard to learn and it has so many things that it takes a while to learn it but I have a list in here already so we will just jump into my list this is my social media list I have it in or actually uh, this isn't my social media list let's say it was my social media list uh, just for the sake of this video so I can demo something and we will just use to do in progress and complete here but I could add another group let's say I wanted to add one called idea so just uh, that it is an idea I haven't started thinking about this uh, I can choose to save this uh, status for this list only or in the entire YouTube space I will do this uh, this list only and let's go ahead and add it one more time because it didn't work uh, so let's do uh, it actually worked it just took a second and uh, I wasn't actually planning on talking about the issues with ClickUp but um, I will have to do it now. I wasn't planning to do it so early in the video, but I will sort of have to do it now. This is the major issue with ClickUp. Things can tend to be a little slow and my workspace is even small and things, this has happened to me a couple of times with things being too slow or me having to click multiple times before I actually get the thing I want. So there is a couple of things like that. The other issue here is this, bar right here it annoys me I tend to remove it and if I don't use the app for a while and come back it suddenly comes back uh, but that isn't a major issue the major issue is with the 
speed and uh, reliability of the application. It is much better with ClickUp 3.0 than it was with Click uh, the last uh, ClickUp. And so they have actually managed to make it better. But as you saw, things can be a little slow within this application. And uh, one of the reasons why is that it has so many features and they keep on adding things. I would honestly like for them to focus on making this even a little bit uh, faster. I'm not saying that is unusable. I still think that is, is quite a good application, but um, the... Things like that actually annoy me a lot when uh, my applications are a little too slow. It might just be an issue with me, but uh, they actually annoy me. Um, so that is the major issues. We might see some more of them uh, as I go through this video. But here I can uh, press view and I can add a new view. And as you can see, there are many views to choose from so everything from a list a gantt a calendar a dock a board table you can add dashboards activity whiteboard mind mapping team and chat so every single view you could dream of you will have right here many of these are more tailored towards teams like the team the workload one even a timeline view i haven't used a lot when i've used the applications for just personal use uh, but things uh, like the calendar, the dock, the table, uh, the board are things that you would use. And when we talk about dock, we actually have documents inside of here. So I can actually start writing here. And this, uh, the way this works is that this wants to be a note-taking experience without it actually being a real note-taking experience because there is no good way of organizing. I guess you could create like a folder. Uh, let's just do docs uh, and just add it in here. As you can see, again, it is a little slow, which is a little annoying. Uh, so let's just go ahead and try one more time and add a folder called docs. I'm glad that uh, we can actually see some of the issues live, um, but uh, it won't work. It doesn't work, unfortunately. But the point here is that I could create a new folder here. It is finally here. It just took a second. Let's go ahead and delete this. Uh, and <laughs> I will delete this later, uh, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the folder. So inside of the folder, you have a list. You can go ahead and I can just delete this list. And instead of having lists, I could just add documents inside of here. So I could use it in this way and have like the folder structure for my notes. But as you get like, let's say you get 30, 40, 50, 60 docs, this becomes an issue. You can also actually attach docs to your uh, databases or lists, which they are called here. So if I press doc, uh, I can actually link a doc to this. Uh, so that is also possible. But the note taking experience, mainly because of the organization, uh, isn't as good and as in many other tools. However, the search and the AI functionalities in here are quite good. If we now jump back into my list right here, uh, you can see that I have a bunch of columns to pick from as well. So these are more like databases and not necessarily lists. So you have a bunch to choose from. Again, many of them are tailored more towards uh, teams, uh, but a lot of them you can use uh, for personal use as well. The last couple of things I want to touch on is this open notepad, which is for quick notes. You have your uh, tasks in here, which is great because this consolidates your tasks from different spaces and different uh, like lists. And you also uh, can create a doc from right here. Again, documents aren't the best experience inside of here, but they are they are okay. Uh, but I've seen it be implemented better. Um, here as well, you can see that you have a bunch of things. They also have whiteboards and you can actually mention a whiteboard in a doc, uh, which I have never, uh, I've never thought of that as a feature that I want, but ClickUp has it. 
So when it comes to my thoughts on ClickUp, it is quite good, uh, but the uh, slow application and just the fact that as you saw a couple of times that things doesn't work out the way I want them to or the way they are supposed to gets a little bit annoying and that is one of the reasons why I am not a big fan of ClickUp. But on the other hand you get a lot of features which is something uh, many people want so it all depends on whether or not you're uh, willing to do a little bit of a sacrifice of a slower application. It hasn't been this bad ever when I've tested it out like it has been on uh, this YouTube video. It has been slow but not this slow uh, and uh, it all comes down to whether or not you're uh, willing to sacrifice some speed for having every single feature you could ever dream about. That covers it for today's video. I I could go on forever talking about uh, ClickUp, but I will stop there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.